Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video which is concentrating on a little program called FS Sim Rate Bandit and that helps to incorporate a sim rate counter in Flight Simulator 2020. Something that's not there by default. With this little program you can accurately see what your sim rate is you can see the sim rate has sped up now and you can actually see it through this program it also has an audio cue to let you know what sim rate you're going at sim rate two. Sim rate one. so we're back at normal sim rate now something that you couldn't do previously with flight simulator 2020 or it was difficult to know what sim rate you were at so let's explore this little program. So before we explore the finer details of F S sim rate bandit let's first explore and discover what sim rate is in flight simulator 2020 so if i press escape on my keyboard go to controls left click on that and on the keyboard default just put the filter here to all so left click on the arrow here and under miscellaneous these may be open or not but i've just opened the miscellaneous tab you want to be in here on the keyboard on default make sure that's selected you've got sim rate increase and decrease sim rate there's no keys at default set up for these what i did is actually go to my flight yacht system so go to your flight controller if you want to set buttons up for this and I've actually set a couple of buttons doesn't matter which buttons are actually a little rocker here on the flight yacht system just to test this to increase sim rate and decrease on that little rocker switch whatever flight controller you're using just go to filter all and then under miscellaneous like I showed you before You've got decrease and increase sim rate. Just set a couple of buttons or keyboard commands for increase and decrease sim rate. So that's what I've done. Now without FS sim rate bandit running, if I increase my sim rate, you can see the world is moving faster around me, but there's nothing on screen to show me how much my sim rate has increased the only way i found to keep an eye on this is, is to go down to my clock you can see the seconds are running pretty quick there if i decrease my sim rate you can now see the seconds are ticking along normally so if i increase it seconds are going quicker if i increase it again seconds are going very quick now and the world around me is zipping by to get it back to normal I've just decreased it a couple of times and you can see the seconds are now ticking by normally even in developer mode so if I go to general escape general developers and put that on and apply and save and go back and resume there's nothing here to show me what my sim rate is doing if you look down here there's nothing here there's nothing in the menus to show you what your sim rate is doing here or nothing that I've discovered if anybody else has discovered something here please let me know but I don't believe there's anything in these tools at the top here to show you what your sim rate is in the simulator so if I just increase my sim rate Again, you can see the world is zipping by, but there's nothing actually there to show me apart from the clock, the seconds going faster. So if I decrease the sim rate, you can now see the seconds are going by normally, and I'm at normal sim rate. 
So I'll tell you what, let's go to the website where I discovered FS Simrate Bandit and we'll go and download it and discuss it. Okay, so the way I discovered FS Simrate Bandit was on the actual Flight Simulator official forums. Uh, this guy was asking a question here, is there a way to display the simulation rate on screen? And people were giving various suggestions, like looking at the seconds on the clock, and they were saying it's a shame that, you know, it's not in the actual uh, simulator, there's no sim rate in the simulator. I scrolled down this forum page though, and I did come to a post from Jim Wolf here, and then he mentioned FS Sim Rate Bandit. And I thought that looks quite interesting. So I clicked on the link and it took me here. And then you can click here to download this. Now when I downloaded this, beware, my Windows Defender didn't like it. And it was saying it's, it doesn't trust the file. And you have to say, tell Windows Defender or whatever virus protector protection you're using to keep the file perhaps some will pick it up some won't won't but windows defender certainly didn't like this but i just told it to keep it anyway and basically yeah you go and download it it's got a little readme on the website here as well it's also got a travel page which i'll talk about when we go and look at the program in the simulator so i downloaded it and then run the program and it comes like this once you have flight simulator 2020 running let's resume you have to press connect here so it's connected to the simulator once it is increase your sim rate from the buttons you've set up sim rate two. and as you can see it shows you there what your sim rate is let's increase it again and there you go, as you can see it works beautifully. Let's decrease it back to normal. Sim rate two. Sim rate one. And there you go, it works wonderful. Also what you'll find, if you've got a route set up in your autopilot, like I have, if you've got waypoints it will show you the distance to the various waypoints. I'm just about to come, let's pan in the map here. Fortunately, when you click on the screen, the little box for Sim Rate Bandit disappears. But you can bring that back. So I'm just about to pass over this uh, waypoint. And it's accurately predicting that as well. Let's increase this, this uh, sim, rate. sim Rate. There you go. I'm passing over that waypoint. And the next waypoint will be, let's just see, 37 nautical miles. This map, by the way, this route, is the one I did on understanding, the video I made on understanding the G1000. I'll link it in the top right for you. It's a route, low altitude airways route, I set up between Manchester Airport and Heathrow. And it took a heck of a long time in the Cessna, which is why I wanted a sim rate program, so I could increase the sim rate to get to where I wanted to quicker. You may want to use this, you may not, but if, you, if you're going on a long flight and you want to increase your sim rate, then this is ideal. Now, according to the website, let's just press escape there. You can even use the sort of, uh, what's it called now? Start travel option. And as, as you can see there, it will take you to your final waypoint and then it will decrease the sim rate automatically when it reaches your final waypoint. So that's quite handy. I've not messed around too much with that. I've done a little bit of play with it, but I'm not going to use it for that. The main reason for me to use this program is, like I said, if I'm doing videos and I'm going on a flight that's longer than expected, it's a great way to increase your sim rate. And it's also quite handy to see how far you are from your... Uh, next waypoint i find that quite handy as well so there you go that's an overview of fs sim rate bandit i fully recommend it i'm not going to use it all the time certainly not if i go for a flight i want to be in normal sim rate like this 
if I go for a flight that's longer than expected and I want to get to my next waypoint or to my destination quicker, then certainly this is very useful to use. Hopefully at some point, a Sobel will bring in a sim rate indication or counter for Flight Simulator 2020. Hopefully that will be patched in in the future. But up until then, this is a great little program to use. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on this. Give the video a like if you've enjoyed it and it's been useful for you. Subscribe for more plenty of Flight Simulator videos on the way. And I'll see you soon.